Okay, well, we're back, and this is the same problem. This problem involved the electron that was traveling in the nuclear accelerator at 2.99985 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And the question was, as observed by a person standing in the nuclear accelerator, which is three kilometers long, how long does the electron say, if the electron, let's say, was a sentient being, how long would the electron observe the nuclear accelerator to be if a person standing in the nuclear accelerator in the same reference frame said it was three kilometers? So in this type of a problem, we have L0, which is measured in the same reference frame, i.e. the scientist standing in the nuclear accelerator says the nuclear, ex the nuclear accelerator is three kilometers long. Now, if the electron was doing the measuring, or we could pretend in a fantasy type of a situation and say, what, about, what if a person on the electron was to measure this distance? How long would that be? Well, then we need this equation. And that would be 3,000 meters, which is 3 kilometers, times the square root of 1 minus 2.99985 times 10 to the power of 8 all squared divided by 3 times 10 to the power of 8 all squared. And that, if you work it through your calculator, is 30 meters. So something that is 3 kilometers long as observed by a stationary observer in, their, in the same reference frame turns out to be only 30 meters long as observed by the electron's point of view. So that is a perfect example of length contraction. That's the end of this problem.